Good morning, everyone. Extra lesson three is transmission of hereditary traits. Today we will start with part one. As we discussed previously, inherited traits are coded by genes. There are several forms or versions of each gene that are called alleles. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to determine what an allele is, indicate the difference between a genotype and a phenotype, identify a homozygous and a heterozygous genotype, and finally, differentiate between recessive and dominant alleles. Before we start with this lesson, you should remember that each individual receives half of his chromosomes or genetic information from each of his parents. Therefore, chromosomes are grouped in pairs as homologous chromosomes, where one chromosome is of paternal origin and the other is of maternal origin. Keep in mind that each chromosome is made up of two sister chromatids and that homologous chromosomes are of the same size and shape. They have the same position of centromere as well as same position of genes. Don't forget that we inherit our genes from our parents. Each parent gives one set of genes to their offspring. Let's consider two characteristics of mice, fur color and tail length. These two traits are coded by two different genes. As you can observe, the first mouse is gray, while the second one is brown. So the gene coding for fur color exists in different versions, such as black, gray, brown, and white. Moreover, the first mouse has a short tail, and the second mouse has a long tail. So there are also different forms of the gene coding for tail length. Similarly in humans, the gene coding for eye color, for example, has different forms, such as black, brown, blue, and green. Therefore, genes exist in different forms. Each form is called an allele. For every gene coding for a certain characteristic, an individual has two alleles, one virgin from each parent. The combination of the two alleles inherited from the parents is called the genotype. The genotype determines the phenotype of each trait. The phenotype is the observable trait such as gray fur, short tail, and small eyes. So a genotype is the combination of two alleles which determine the phenotype. Therefore, a genotype is represented using two letters, where each letter corresponds to one allele. In the following example, we will consider the tail length of the two mice. The first mouse has a short tail. Given that it's a genotype is SS, where the letter S symbolizes the short allele. So each of its homologous chromosomes carries an allele coding for short. Notice how the two alleles are the same. Then we say that this mouse is homozygous or pure for this gene. On the other hand, the genotype of the second mouse that has a long tail is LS where the letter L symbolizes the long allele and the letter S stands for the short allele. So one of its homologous chromosomes carries the allele coding for long and the other homologous chromosome carries the allele coding for short. As you can observe, the two alleles forming this genotype are different. Then we say that this mouse is heterozygous or hybrid for this gene. Solve application 1 where you have to write the genotype of each gene represented in the given document and determine whether it is homozygous or heterozygous. Keep in mind if the two alleles forming the genotype are the same then it is pure or homozygous. However, if the two alleles are different then it is hybrid or heterozygous. Let's consider the following three genotypes that determine the fur color in mice. Letter B stands for the allele coding for the brown color, and the G represents the allele coding for gray. The first two genotypes are homozygous. If both alleles are brown, then the phenotype of the mouse will be brown. Similarly, if the two alleles are gray, then the fur color will be gray. But what will the phenotype be if the two alleles are different? In this case, the fur color will be gray. 
But why? This happens because the allele coding for gray is dominant. Thus, it contributes to the phenotype whether one or two copies are present in the genotype. As you have noticed, the dominant allele is shown with a capital letter. However, the allele coding for brown is recessive. The recessive allele is masked in the presence of a dominant allele. It is expressed in the phenotype only when two copies of it are present. A recessive allele is symbolized with a lowercase letter. Two homozygous mice for the fair color are crossed with each other so that they can reproduce. The first mouse has gray fair and its genotype is a GG. The second mouse has brown fair and its genotype is BB. As you already know, their offspring receive one allele from each parent. It will receive the G allele from the first parent and B allele from the second. So its genotype is a GB. The offspring are heterozygous or hybrid. The expressed allele is the dominant one, and therefore the phenotype is gray, since it is dominant over the brown as we discussed in the previous slide. Please solve application 2, refer to the previous slides for any help, then check your answers. Please study the notes very well and make sure that you are familiar with the new terms so that you will be able to follow along with the second part of this lesson. Take care everyone and stay safe.